Hello, <clears throat> sweet, sensitive people, human angels, star seeds, God's chosen ones, as myself out there, <laughs> and past and highly sensitive beings like myself. So, I'm here to help you become empowered so that you can really heal and thrive and move on after narcissistic various experiences. I plan on um, doing the live session. Thank you all who have showed interest <laughs> in, in the live session because you know I'm considering doing the live, live sessions um, on YouTube and possibly on Instagram as well because I have not been doing those. So just an update that I'm thinking about it um, because I'm not sure um, what date and time yet uh, I will uh, be suggesting because we have this time difference because I'm in Finland so uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it affects of course a little who can join the live session. Uh, but yeah, it, it would be, of course, advisable to be doing more of those. But of course, because I'm sensitive and also been through too much um, stress and all of that, so um, I can get a bit shy from time to time <laughs> also. But yeah, anyway. As always, thank you for supporting me in my work and being active and subscribing to my YouTube and liking my videos and posts and sharing them. If you have people who could, who, who could also benefit from the things that I share. And so the topic, a topic that is coming to me now is that um, when we give too much of ourselves because we easily take on too much of other people's issues and all of that. So like I've been saying, we don't always acknowledge it and it's no wonder if you've been abused ever since you have been a child and you've been a sensitive empath, a highly sensitive being. Because it is just how it is. It's a big part of being an empath, a highly sensitive person because especially if you have you have had narcissistic parents even more so it can <clears throat> it can and it definitely causes this effect that you are also a people pleaser throughout your life because you are used to taking care of others because you've been very likely taking care of your own parents as a child which was not your job and it can be so painful to be finally realizing these things but also very very liberating and very healing but yeah it's important to know where the limit goes so there is a limit to everything and especially when it comes to abuse of treatment and disrespect and the question of your health overall and your life and safety. So you cannot be compromising your health, your feelings, your emotions and your life <clears throat> because your life depends on your health, your mental, physical health, spiritual health emotional health so these narcissistic people just attack those within us and you know they just want to take it all away what they can so it's very destructive and it is too much lately i've been talking about this topic of self-care and knowing when something is just too much and cutting it off cutting it off and leaving it off and blocking it off because I've had to do the same. Usually I talk about um, 
my own experiences, my story, because they are a powerful example how you can choose differently because I had to choose differently and that you can understand where where I am also coming from and resonate with my story and everything if you are my target client so it's important really important to know definitely when something is just too much because if we just take on too much and try to please people try to make everybody happy we forget about ourselves and we lose ourselves in the process we lose our health our identity everything that these toxic people want to take away from us and it is not okay at all it's very toxic and you don't want to spend the rest of your life in therapy talking about these things and wondering about them why certain things happen to you and all of that so you want to realize and you want to learn and you want to grow and evolve like you should be because we should not be overdoing something because people should and they will reciprocate if they want to and if they can so it's not our job to be begging for it or asking for it constantly or chasing after anything that would be too much work and that is self-sacrifice that is people pleasing when you just overdo something so pay attention to these patterns if you feel that you are burned out and you are still overdoing things so don't be afraid to lose something that is not really for you that is really toxic these are very painful situations <clears throat> to handle as a sensitive emotional being but in the long run it is it is your victory it is a victory when you can release what is not for you and that is exactly what i've been doing now for a long long time <laughs> and so that is why these things are so important for me to talk about as well there are so valuable life lessons because we cannot function without those we cannot function without those healthy boundaries and you know because eventually if you keep on overdoing and over giving and over explaining and over feeling over empathizing when you shouldn't it is destroying you and your health it's burning you out and i've gone through this and it's no fun it's it's so painful so i finally learned my lesson and tuned in and realized that i needed to make some changes with certain things regarding my work, regarding my relationships, regarding my health. So even though I had done a lot of work, it, there was still some work left. It is so sad when people don't understand what it is like to be a sensitive person, a God's chosen one. That's There are so many things when it comes to being <laughs> being a person like this. So certain aspects seem that need explanation, but then again, we also have to be drawing those boundaries again and 
protecting our energies and our lives, our health. So it is more important to be protecting them than, you know, overgiving. We are overgivers and narcissistic people are overtakers. That is how it is, the pattern. But nobody deserves constant abuse and disrespect. So there has to be drawn a line and we have to be the ones who are aware because they are not aware or even if they are, they don't act on it like they should. So that is just sadly how it is, the truth of that matter. And it's so sad that they really hold no value to what we give to them. So it's the same as we never would have given them anything, basically. So don't trust, don't give. That's my advice. And if you need more help and support, my services, are found on my link tree link you can check out the information below my videos or you can check out my posts and let's get in touch much love to your day